Which you guys got another video here for you. Is this the best backup solution for all your data? We're going to take a look. This is the Terramaster D2320. It's a two bay external hard disk enclosure. It is a USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 Gbps uh, data transfer speeds on this device. This is everything you're going to get in the box. You're going to get a little tiny screwdriver to change the actual RAID settings, some screws for your drives, your warranty, and you'll also get your cable, which is your type C cable here. You get those super fast speeds and we've got some stickers and also a quick start guide there. We have the power adapter here with a UK plug. Yours will be whatever country you live in. And again, we have that barrel jack uh, on the end of this quite a reasonably sized cable here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the unit itself. It's a two bay, as you can see here, but it does support NVMe drives. We have two bay on the front, which does support three and a half inch and two and a half inch drives on here. You do have some LED lights on the front indicating when the unit is working correctly. We also have some ventilation with the Terramaster logo and a little sticker, which you can remove, which tells you how to set up your RAID. You do have multiple RAID modes on here. On the back, we have our fan, power button, our reset, and our RAID configuration, and a Type-C connector, which allows you to plug it in your computer or into another Terramaster NAS drive, which will extend the capacity of this. On the bottom, we have some ventilation. If you remove these two screws here, this will allow you to gain access to the side panel, which is where your NVMe drives can be uh, populated. So let me just quickly show you this by removing this here. And this just gives us access to this little panel inside here. And as you can see, we can populate this with three uh, more storage drives here. These are NVMe M.2 SSDs, and these are PCI Express 3.0. So your 2280 support drives here will go in here and uh, you can populate this with three of those. This will give you a total of 44 terabytes of storage. Now the downside is you don't have any ethernet port on this particular device, which means you would have to use this as an expansion of your network attached storage space by plugging it into your Terramaster NAS. And this will then extend that sort of capacity for your storage by doing that. To populate the drives, it just slides out like so. And all you need to do is pop in your three and a half inch drive into here in this toolless design. Also, if you are using a two and a half inch SSD or mechanical drives, you will need to use the screws that come in the kit to make sure it's held into the drive bay here. Once you've populated these, I'll show you how to do it. It's very simple. You just need to slot it in like so. And then you use the toolless design clip on the side to hold the drive in place. There's two of them here, and once you've done that, it should hold the drive in nice and firmly. Now, again, we can slot this in once we're done, and we can populate both of these bays. And you can use large capacity drives if you wish to get more uh, drive storage on here. Now, once you've set this up, you've got multiple RAID modes. You've got support for RAID 0, RAID 1, and JBOD, and single disk if you only want to put a single disk in. We have a Type-C cable here, and I'm going to quickly show you how to set this up. Very simple. Put your power in. If you want to change this to JBOD or RAID 0 or RAID 1 or single uh, disk mode, you can do by just turning the little dial here with this little screwdriver that comes in the kit. So RAID 0 will be disk striping and also RAID 1 will be uh, disk mirroring. And of course, you've got single uh, storage and also you've got JBOD. These are not going to have any sort of redundancy. Uh, so if you're going to use those modes, you're not going to have any sort of redundancy for your data. So choose which one you want to use. Next up, you can go to the website here. And once you've got this plugged into your computer, you can put start.terra-master.com. And this will give you all the information about your actual device. You can read up about the information that has set it up. Give yourself an email address and choose your product and choose the drive slots and also the model number. You can put all that information in the actual screen here. And once you've done that, you choose whether you've got a TNAS or NAS, and uh, this will tell you exactly how to set this all up. It's very straightforward and easy to do. Now, if you're using one of the Terramaster NASs and your drive bays are all full and they're full capacity already, then you can use something like this to expand the uh, data on that NAS. You can plug this into your NAS, and basically what would happen, rather than plugging it into a computer with a Type-C port, you'd plug it into your NAS. 
And what this will do was extend the capacity for that NAS. You would end up getting two more drive bays and actually three more NVMe drive bays in there as well. It's a cheaper way than going out buying a brand new NAS. Now, once you've got it plugged in, you can see the drives are visible on here, but they are set up for another device. So I'm going to quickly delete all of these partitions. Now, I could reset the device and it would delete all these for me, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and manually do these inside disk management here. All I need to do is uh, delete the actual volumes and make it unallocated space. And then again, I can then just create a brand new. Uh, volume simple volume is that uh, simple so let's talk about some of the limitations for this particular device why i set these drives up first off this is really sort of an expansion for your nas storage space you can use this plugged into your computer and it will give you that external storage like an external drive does and you can set up raid for this but if you want to uh, try to trick it by plugging in say a type c connector with an ethernet connector on it, it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to visibly see this on the network unless you plug it into your TerraMaster NAS as an expansion of that NAS storage. The other downside is that you can't use this on any other typical NAS. You're going to have to only use this on a TerraMaster NAS to make this work. So there's quite a few limitations there. Uh, I'm just going to quickly set up these two uh, drives here by formatting these. Now, of course, you can set this up via the actual unit itself, uh, but I'm just going to get these set and you should see these visible on the network. And then you can set up the RAID as well by dialing in what setting of RAID you want. And these will then be RAIDed. Now, I will say that if you're going to be plugging this into your computer, I wouldn't bother buying this particular unit myself. If you're using it as an expansion for your NAS, for your TerraMaster NAS, then yes, this is where this unit actually comes into its own. All the other leading brands like Synology and QNAP will have an expansion uh, unit like this. So you can plug it into your NAS and expand the capacity of your storage, whereas this is no different. So you can see we have our drives up here, and I think I've got this set to uh, JBOD because it's plugged into a computer and not a TerraMaster NAS. But if you did have this plugged into your NAS, you could use this new feature that they're releasing called Drupal Backup. And this tool offers powerful backup and restore functions, and it's being called a disaster recovery tool designed to strengthen the data security of your TNAS devices. To prevent the data loss due to the TNAS device hardware failure or system failure. So if it crashes, the Drupal Backup intuitive user menu allows you to back up all the important folders we'll take a look at this in more detail when i put this onto a nas a TerraMaster nas that i've got here and we'll plug it in and we'll see what it's all about in more detail in a separate video but other than that i think that's going to be about it so that is the TerraMaster d2 320 two bay usb external hard drive enclosure uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I'll leave all the information in the video description. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.